guys. Uh, we have a major problem with this trailer. We just pulled out uh, over the winter. We did a we did some welding uh, back in the fall. Uh, we had actually had it drop down on us about two inches, and what happened is this this side this side panel this whole wall here moved out away from the frame so we're gonna be pulling all these uh, these panels off here and if you could see this this starts back here by the gate and it looks like to us that it runs past the axle here so it's separated somewhere somewhere from here and you can see by by Mike Mike is bouncing it up and down so that's what it's actually doing and I, you know we don't know exactly what happened but I'm gonna guess over time it's it's the left side but you know you would figure if it was the right side I can see over time if you if you turn sharp on on roads and and you, somebody catches a, a manhole or, or a culvert make a right right turn but this is a left so I don't this is kind of you know this is just over time with uh, with the weight we're just hauling what two two walk behinds yeah. and a push mower yeah. so nothing nothing that should uh, you know do this much damage but we're gonna pull it out see what happens and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there so we'll get it we're gonna get it started on it right now Okay, so we uh, we only had to take three boards out, and uh, we were worried about it going past this uh, this front. Well, actually, it did go past the the front axle. But if you can see this, let me zoom in. At that wall, separated. Actually, just the fender separated, as far as I can see right there. But uh. Let me zoom in here. I just felt like these, when they built these trailers, they should have, uh... Okay, so we're going to have to get some measurements, and this should be, we're going to have to pull this, let's see if you can see, let me go out a little bit, we will have to pull this wall in. This side in here, this fender, we'll have to pull that in and get that welded up. So, okay, that'll be uh, that'll be what's next. Okay, so anyway, this uh, this trailer dropped down a good two inches here, but we've seen inside that. And if you could see that, my God, you can't, but it kind of separated. get a shot from this angle here okay let me zoom zoom in now see that's separated right on the back axle here it's in focus and up through the front axle right here okay so we'll get some measurements and we'll get this uh, Get this welded up, put these boards back on, and get rolling. We got a month before we start mowing. So the idea is we're gonna, you guys are gonna jack this up and jack it up to where it's supposed to be, pull it together, tack weld it, put in uh, new uh, steel reinforcement egg wire. Go. 
Yeah, I'm glad we're doing this now. Yeah, get it over. Yeah, we got February, but we're going to be mowing in March. Can you believe that shit? Maybe. Hey. <laughs> what broke? Broke the stone. That's good. Broke a stone? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this bracket. Right? Right here. I'm going to get the torches out, cut that off, and make a new bracket, fabricate it. It should be alright, and then we'll put some, uh, put a straight piece metal and tack it right here. We already got the walls brought inside here, so we're going to get the torches out. And go from there towards that, put a new piece in, we should be good to go. Alright, into cutting. This piece of shit off. Is that working for you? Yeah. And that's how you do it. Get a piece of metal in here flat, okay. And I'm gonna run it clean from back in here, all right, instead of right there where all the pressure's at, okay. And I'll run it on up further up into here, also. It'll be a piece of this metal, right? Turn the opposite way, yeah. That work, yeah. That came out pretty easy with that torch, huh? and then we'll put a rib in, all right. Here we go. We're gonna we got this jacked up. Mike and Jeff cut these. Yeah. Uh, got this okay. ready to roll. So what's this, going on, Jeff? This is what we did. We took some of that steel right there. Right. Cut us off 19-inch section. That way we could reach back up here in the frame to get some good meat on the frame. I had to cut one one end of the L off with the torch and that way we got a good weld line welding away Let them jacks down. Let that one down there, Mike. And yep. Put it over here. Put it back here. I want to get get pressure back here and lift this up. That way the pressure is here. And then as it's holding there, I'll weld this in place. And that way the pressure can't break nothing. It'll be already nailed solid in, in, in the spot. There he goes. <laughs> 
Another round. Got the tongue going. <laughs> NASCAR. Speedy Gonzalez. That's when you know it's serious. Thing I don't like about this helmet. It's not adjuster. That tongue is from licking that crust off your lips. Right? Alright, here's the test. See what I mean? Hell, damn right it did, didn't it? Did you see it? It didn't drop, did it? Uh uh. Alright. There you go. It did not drop. You guys seen this uh, when we first pulled it over here. There was a good two inch drop on this back axle here from this wall. And uh, my dudes, Mike and Jeff, they get it going, man. They got it going. What do we say? These guys are, these guys are jack of all trades. Can't say master of none, I don't know. Jeff says he's a master of some things. So. Master Bader. Master Bader, okay, so what do we got with this top rail? Right now for here. Get this top rail right here. That should do it. One last pump. Okay, Jeff, so why don't you explain exactly what we did here? Well, what we did, I welded a piece of two by two angle steel in here all the way down. That way it's supporting this uh, this uh, intersect here. I took a piece of uh, six by two steel angle that's uh, eighth inch thick, 19 inches long, Put it on the back side here and welded it all the way down the frame, top and bottom. Okay. I put in a new rib support here out of the 2x2 two two angle, welded it all the way across, jacked up this, made sure the outside of the trailer was level with the frame, and then welded it in place, welded this back in place, welded an extra rib 2x2 two two angle here. Took this one here and re-welded this one. Took off all the supports, all the clamps, everything. As you can see, it's a good solid trailer again. That's right. And this looks this side looks in good shape. Yeah. So we don't think we need another cross member. Yeah, there's stuff there. there. Okay, yeah, we're looking good. Yeah. So. Yep, this trailer's uh when did we get these? We got these in I think we got these in 05. We bought these in 05. These are 11 years old. But they don't see a they don't see a win. 
It's brand new when we got it. Okay. But but the thing is, we don't run these at winter. I mean, right. soon as it soon as that first snowfall, they're right. they're pretty much put away. I mean, there's no. These are just summer trailers. Right. So you can see, I mean, the metal's still in good shape. Oh yeah. Hey, Ryan. Yeah. All right, so that's a that's a wrap. That's what right. we call it. So then, no, uh, Mike and Jeff, they'll put these. Uh, okay, back. look at that. Guys, what did you what did you say? Now you could fit on that. A three hundred pound fat girl rest for down on here. Is that right? Busted. All right. Well, there it is. A trailer that was supposedly unfixable is now fixed. Right. And and let me add, like I said, I was saying earlier, we dropped this off at a trailer place, truck and trailer place, reputable company, no names. Like I said, I'm not going to mention no names. They told us to put a for sale sign on this trailer without even looking into it they didn't want to even grab they didn't even want to fathom doing it or anything so we, we took care of it and uh that's a final wrap